Another little shorter video here. About five years ago, this is a 97 Nissan pickup hard body. But uh, the exhaust man full of crack, so I actually got a pair of headers and installed these headers on here, but the problem was it, when I did that, it didn't have the tube that runs over to the EGR valve back here. So, of course, when I got everything hooked up and started up, it started popping a code for EGR malfunction. So, what I did, here's the connector. It plugs in right here, and then there's these wires that go down to a sensor and what that sensor is a thermistor it's like a, like a cool temp sensor and basically what happens is when the uh, computer kicks the EGR on it lets the exhaust gases flow through here and then that thermistor heats up which starts dragging the voltage down and then it wants to see I think roughly around one volt a little bit less than one volt and then when it sees that it knows that EGR is flowing and everything's working all right so basically what it does this connector you got this wire here is this connector on this side is the signal wire and then this is a ground over here and the computer sends five volts down to here and then as that thermistor heats up it starts dragging the voltage down and with this system it's not monitoring that voltage all the time it only looks at that voltage when it commands the EGR to flow and then it looks at the voltage sees the voltage it likes and then it ignores it again I think everything's fine and goes about its business so to trick the computer to think the EGR was working is right here. It's about a 100k ohm resistor. And you just, and then I put these ends on it so I could plug it into that connector and just plug it in there. And what that does is it drops the voltage down on that signal wire to around one volt. So, so when the computer kicks the EGR on, it looks at that and it sees around one volt and it thinks everything's fine. And so it doesn't pop the code anymore, even though the EGR isn't flowing at all. So you can see here I got the key on. And you see that wire right there? See where we're at? Four point nine four volts. That's what the computer's sending down. And then once I plug this in, now see so we're at 0.89. So when the computer commands that EGR to come on, it sees that 0.89 thinks it's flowing so it doesn't pop the code. They like said did this like five years ago it hasn't popped the code since and we'll go to the other scanner here. And it will show the readiness test. It'll show that everything's good as far as EGR goes. It, Thinks it's working good. See, there we go. EGR system ready. And then we can go in here farther. Read codes. They no codes. So, that's a little trick. This, I'm not sure how, like I said, this is a 97 Nissan. I'm not sure what all makes the models this work. I'm assuming the older system like this work, but you start getting the 2000s, I don't know if this trick would work. 
But yeah, if you have a problem, you got an EGR disconnected and popping a code, that's a way to take care of that so the check engine light doesn't come on.